Applicate indicate shoot deploy. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration in the velocity. Our current velocity is 440 meters per second at an altitude of about 12 kilometers from the surface of Mars. Heat shield set. First advance has now slowed to subsonic speeds and the heat shield has been separated. This allows both the radar and the cameras to get their first look at the surface. Current velocity is 145 meters per second and an altitude of about 10 kilom nine and a half kilometers above the surface. Nav filter converge. Velocity solution 3.3 meters per second. Altitude 7.4 kilometers. Now has radar lock on the ground. Current velocity is about 100 meters per second. 6.6 .6 kilometers of the surface. Perseverance is continuing to descend on the parachute. We are coming up on the initialization of terrain relative navigation and subsequently the priming of the landing engines. Our current velocity is about 90 meters per second at an altitude of 4.2 kilometers. OVS valid. We have confirmation that the lander vision system has produced a valid solution and part of terrain relative navigation. Priming. TBA is nominal. We have priming of the landing engines. Back shell set. Current velocity is 83 meters per second at about 2.6 kilometers from the surface of Mars. We have confirmation that the back shell has separated. We are currently performing the divert maneuver. Current velocity is about 75 meters per second at an altitude of about a kilometer off the surface of Mars. Here in safety, Bravo. We have completed our terrain relative navigation. Current speed is about 30 meters per second, altitude of about 300 meters off the surface of Mars. We have started our constant velocity accordion, which means we are conducting the sky crane, about to conduct the sky crane maneuver. Sky crane maneuver has started, about 20 meters off the surface. We're getting signals from MRO. Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. The mountains back there and the rocks and things, it's just uh, really is the surface of an alien world and uh, we just arrived. You can also see some more scouring there over on the right. Uh, the next image looks over towards the west. You can see the Delta up, out there in the horizon. And again, more scouring from the, uh, the rocket plumes. Uh, and then we take all of these images and we uh, stitch them together into panoramas. And so that next, it, uh, the next frame shows the full panorama from the navcam uh, stitched together. We're still working out the calibration and things. So this is, uh, you know, approximate color, um, but it just gives you a feel for the vista here that we, we're, uh, our new environment that we're going to explore. Uh, and we're hoping uh, everyone will join us uh, in um, seeing these images. Uh, I invite you now to, if you would like to close your eyes and just imagine yourself sitting on the surface of Mars and listening to, to the surroundings. Uh, if I could have the first one, please. So that gentle whirl that happens in the background, that is a noise made by the rover. But yes, what you did hear 10 seconds in was an actual wind gust on the surface of Mars, picked up by the microphone, and sent back to us here on Earth. The analysis indicates that was around a five meter per second type of a wind gust. Um, so we've actually, we can sit here now and, and actually tell you that we have recorded sound from the surface of Mars. So we have a second one, which basically further reduces the noise of the rover so you can just hear uh, what the wind would sound like on Mars. And once again, 
I invite you to, to sit back and uh, have a listen to what it would sound like to be on Mars.